On the 28th of March 1982, a dispute in the South Atlantic probably hit the point of no return. On that day, Argentina cancelled all military and diplomatic leave and prepared for war. Military aircraft from Argentina overflew Port Stanley, the capital of the Falklands Islands, and a lower capital. In fact, it was really only a village of a few hundred people. These overflights were illegal, but there was not much the British authorities could do about them, except to protest. Suspicious that something was going on, the British government leaked news of a submarine heading towards the islands, which was a bluff designed to make the junta stand down. A similar ploy had worked in 1976. This time it had the opposite effect. President of Argentina, Leopoldo Galtieri, and Jorge Anaya, the commander-in-chief of the Argentinian Navy, ordered the invasion to go ahead immediately. At 10 o'clock Buenos Aires time, the invasion fleet sailed out of Puerto Belgrano, the main base of the Argentinian Navy. The invasion fleet includes the Cabo San Antonio, a tank landing ship, and the troop carrier Islas de los Estados. The distance to Port Stanley is 1,461 kilometers. Nearly 3,000 kilometers to the southeast of Puerto Belgrano, the ship, the Bahia Paraiso, which had earlier left South Georgia following UK government protest about its presence in British waters, now positioned itself around 25 kilometers to the north of the island with Marines in its hold who were ready to strike at South Georgia. This is one of several small videos I prepared for the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War. I had thought of doing something on a daily basis, but in view of the current war in Ukraine, I uh, was persuaded not to do it. However, I shall publish from time to time things like this to recall the events of 1982. Events which in my case, I remember very clearly. Thanks for listening.